I wonder like how beaming red my face is like right now. I'm getting ready to watch this. Yeah, I'm just as surprised as you are that I'm actually up for this sort of shit. Like around 1.30 in the morning, I just got tired. And then I thought, oh, you know, maybe I can actually, maybe I can actually get some, get some sleep and tune into the direct live and do a reaction. Uh, then I ended up waking like around seven in the morning. I've been up since and I'm kind of bumming it. Like I got the cobwebs around my eyes and I got my second cup of coffee right here. But it was like, oh, I mean, I'm up. So I might as well do a direct reaction. Because that's what all the cool kids do nowadays. It's just myself uh, for this direct reaction because I, I don't need a, I don't need a ton of voices in my head right now. I just want to vibe with you guys and see, you know what what Nintendo has in store for the presentation and that sort of shit. I don't really have any expectations. I would like I would not mind info on Metroid Prime stuff. I'm not talking about like release dates and that sort of thing. I just want to know that Metroid Prime 4 is still alive. I mean, it obviously is because if it was canceled, they would have said something by now. Uh, but like the biggest copium that I have or hopium, I guess, to be a little more optimistic, is that we get some sort of confirmation of Prime 2 and Prime 3 getting the Switch remaster treatment. I would really like that. As much as I don't like Prime 2 or 3 as much as Prime 1, they're still really solid games. And I think Prime 2 especially would benefit from the remaster. But this is, of course, assuming this is, like, even in a part of the thing. And I don't follow leaks uh, and that sort of shit, so keep that shit to yourself. I'm not interested in hearing that uh, in the chat. <laughs> uh, so uh, don't, uh, no, no discussing leaks or anything like that in the thing. I have a zero tolerance policy on that sort of shit. This is all about being excited and catching this shit live. Yeah, whatever, the, the, all that hell of shit. <laughs> Uh, Antic, they deliberately said in the in yesterday's tweet that there will be no news on the Switch's successor for this one. They said that fucking like minute one when that tweet went live. It was like, this is not about the second Switch. This is about what we just have in store for the, the remainder of the year. I can't wait for them to reveal the Gwimbley remaster. I have to catch up on Smiling Friends. I've been really enjoying that show, but I've, I've been I've been slacking for the last couple of weeks. The Switch 2 I expect to hear next year. I expect to uh, hear about Switch 2 towards the end of this year, actually. Because my mind is thinking they're probably going to go for a similar release window from the Switch 1. Because the Switch 1 was March of that year. It was March of 2017, if I recall correctly. So I'm thinking we're going to get some sort of hard confirmation around the holiday season to get you guys amped and excited for the beginning of next year. I don't know what the hell they want to call the second switch. Just don't call this. Just just make it very obvious that it is the successor to the switch and not just a remodel of the switch. Don't do the Wii U thing. That's what fucking killed the Wii U at launch. I mean, besides, obviously, the Wii U not having any games, but <laughs> just call it something that the general crowd can easily think, oh, that's that's the next Nintendo system. We need to get that for ourselves, the kid and that sort of shit. Call it the Switch 2, call it the Super Switch, call it uh, Switch something, I don't know, the Switcher. <laughs> uh, pre Don Balker, thank you for the tier one, much appreciate it. Uh, hold on a second, actually, let me, um, no, let's hear it for a second. Uh, there was uh, Donnell324, thank you for the uh, tier one for 26 months. Uh, Sub so Johnny, good morning, happy two years. And get ready for nothing this direct. I mean, that's what you always set your expectations low, right? I never have any sort of expectations for this unless they confirm that they're going to show something off for this direct. Keep your expectations low so that, you know, you can laugh, you can cry, you can smile, you can be sad. All these emotions at once, like the five stages of, like, grief. And it's for a Nintendo Direct. Uh, Evolution, thank you very much for the tier one as well. pre Don Bobcat, thank you for the tier one for 39 months. Sir Gigi. Uh, you as well for tier, uh, 61 months. Holy shit, you guys are getting up there. Uh, Lady Gotham, thank you for the uh, for the tier one. And uh, was it Nikini Evergold? I don't know how to pronounce that name. 
Uh, but thank you for res- uh, resubbing for almost two years. Anything I want to see, uh, I'll I'll say it again. I would really like some confirmation of a Metroid Prime Two and Three remaster. That's about it. That's that's really about it. I'm 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 here for the ride. I'm here for a good time. I just I'm 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 interested to see what they have in store for the rest of this year. Uh, King of Heroes Omar Sparrow, thank you very much. You guys are coming in with the subs, like, holy shit. Uh, that certain kid with the tier one, thank you very much. Uh, Risky Click, press play to Jason. I feel like I'm reading my Patreon credits, dude. But now it's live, and you can, guys can, like, see me embarrassing myself without any retakes. Although, I rarely have to do retakes for the Patreon shots, because there's, I, I, I've come to accept that they're just names I'm not going to be able to fucking pronounce. Because I am stupid. Sakurai's YouTube is ending soon. Maybe a hint of what he's working on next. Yeah, Meteos 2. You guys are thinking it's going to be fucking Smash Brothers related. But it's like, nope. I'm I'm bringing back that puzzle game. (laughs) (laughs) Hmm. All right. So I guess the biggest, the biggest amount of copium or hopium is a Kid Icarus Uprising HD uh, remaster for the Switch. I would really like that as well because I think that game needs new life. I mean, what is it? Like we we still need a Kid Icarus Uprising uh HD for the Switch. I might be the minority in this. I would like Star Fox Zero to be re released on the Switch. <laughs> because that game is good, damn it. <laughs> like it's a very safe game. Like, don't get me wrong. But it's like it, it needs it deserves a second life on the Switch. My coffee is almost done, so I'm trying to. I'm literally trying to finish this cup before the direct starts, and I stop. I forget to drink it. I'm not playing if the game controls like a junk Floridian Bob. That's really specific, but I'm not gonna disagree. I mean, I did. I really did. I did. I did not mind Star Fox Zero like at all. Like, yeah, the gyroscope controls and the switching the screens was very awkward even when you know like to hit the minus button to switch but toggle between the gamepad screen and the and the tv screen it was just like fuck man this this is didn't need this at all the gamepad is like simultaneously like some of the best things about certain games but also the worst thing about certain games uh tom boy thank you very much for the uh uh twitch prime sub as well as uh ariel ants is that how you pronounce the name thank you for the uh for the uh, subscription. Oh, here we go. We're starting. Uh, hopefully the audio is not too loud. Ah, eh, good enough. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Mario already. All right, that was really fast. Mario and Luigi? Holy fuck, are they bring it back Mario and Luigi? Is this a new game? Like, as soon as I saw the black pupils in Luigi's eyes, I was like, that's Mario and Luigi. Does Luigi have his multicolored socks is probably the most important thing because it's Pride Month. No, they got the Midas touch. God, I'm overdue to go back to Mario and Luigi, dude. This series is so fucking good. I didn't really care for uh, Paper Jam that much, and I did not finish Dream Team. But... Like Superstar Saga, Bowser's Inside Story. I'm not really partisan time. Yeah, so this is a this is a new game. This is just straight up a new game. I'm not sure how I feel about the art style yet, though. Gonna be real. Because when I think of Mario and Luigi, I think of gorgeous fucking 2D sprites. And these are clearly 3D models. That said, I'm fucking with the color palette. Like aesthetically, it's still very on point. Extension core. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was funny. Okay, team actions and that sort of shit. It looks pretty standard. Mario and Luigi fare so far. Luigi's probably gonna still be the best character in the game, because he always is with these fucking titles. 
You're a pig, my dude. Is that Persona Fought? <laughs> no, this is genuinely exciting. Like, I I'm glad they're bringing back Mario and Luigi. Mario and Luigi what? Brothership. Oh, that's really cool. Alchemy was a mistake. <laughs> oh, it's coming out this year. Okay, November. We, uh, we, a fucking RPG play. Yeah, hello, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. That's good, man. My fucking Mario RPG enthusiasts are eating so fucking that good this year. Like you got Mario RPG, Mario you got Paper Luigi Mario, series, Thousand Year Door, now you got a new Mario and Luigi, Luigi game. Mario and Luigi Brothership. Please look forward to a seafaring adventure. Yeah, like I'm happy with this. Across mysterious islands, as well as evolved bros moves. And like the more the more I'm looking at it, the more I'm really like jiving with like the real rubbery okay, motions of Mario and Luigi. The first batch of headlines. Okay, y'all can get so slugged out. I got what I wanted. Oh, so this is the the, the Nintendo Championship like version. We got the, the World Nintendo Championship World stuff. I don't know exactly, like. Like how this works? Is it just leaderboards and that sort of shit? Because I'm gonna try this once, and then I'm gonna get bodied by speedrunners, and it's like, well, that was fun for a minute. Familiarize yourself with each challenge and perfect your timing. <laughs> Most of the challenges for these is actually beat the level. <laughs> Fuck these games are old. Yeah, is it, like isn't that just Super NES Mario Remix? One go using warp pipes. Dude, fuck that Hammer Brother, by the way. That Hammer Brother sucks cock. Check out classified information for handy tips and tricks to help you improve. Good, good lord, I feel like I'm just reading, uh, opening up an issue of Nintendo Power. You'll race against ghost data of players worldwide. After each round, half Listen, this is fine and all. Eliminated. You've only got one shot to survive. Will you be the last one standing? And like competition Nintendo is always a, a, a healthy. A competition is always healthy. Well, it's maybe, but there's still a part of me that wish they never got rid of like Mario 35, and that they should have like introduced that concept with more franchises, like a Kid Icarus 35, a Metroid 35, a Zelda 35. Man, like I miss those so much. Fairy tale is about to begin. Not the art style. Uh, I thought it was my. Thought that was my hero for a second. Is it? I don't know. I don't watch anime. <laughs> oh, this is fairy tale. Okay, I've definitely seen a lot of these characters in hentai before. Set in the vast kingdom of Fiore, Team Natsu prepares to finish their fight. <laughs> Engage in real time battles and unleash powerful attacks that fuse different kinds of magic based on who's in your party. Work together with I don't know what this is. Like, I thought, is it the same artist as uh, My Hero? Because uh, the character designs look very similar. Fairy tale to no, it's not. Okay, I just I, that's. I thought it was My Hero at first. This is, this is like, oh god, he's this 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 dude's so fucking old. <laughs> on a multi-dimensional journey from Final Fantasy series creator Hironobu Sakaguchi. His third attempt at trying to make something that's Final Fantasy, but ends up not taking off. The world is slowly being robbed of its civilization. To restore his memories, Leo must... I mean, I love hearing Obisaka Kuchi. I do. But it's like, outside of Final Fantasy, my man is still trying to make Final Fantasy without it being Final Fantasy. Skills are the ticket to winning battles. Although I've heard Adjust things about this game specifically, and I think this was for the longest time sports. something you can only play on iOS. So now we have the Switch port essentially. But I gotta tell you, man, I'm already not fucking vibing with the art direction. The more enemies there are, because the backgrounds the are pretty muted, and the 3D models just don't hit the same as sprites. Now, let us save the world together. Fantasian Neo Dimension launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Probably, definitely one of those plays better than it looks, Another but I was not terribly Sparkle impressed Sport. with that trailer. Nintendo Switch Sports. You guys are really fucking late to the punch with this one, guys. Normally, that's you're supposed to open with this sort of shit. Update to the Nintendo Switch Sports game. Oh, that's right. There's already a Nintendo Sports game. I just completely fucking forgot about it. It's getting updates now? Shoot. 
in two-on-two -two matches using motion controls. Try out three-point challenge solo. And <laughs> the characters and look lame. I mean, they look limit. they look like cuter the Xbox avatars, which is really fucking funny to say because down. avatars were just Xbox's knees. Besides local play, you can team up with players. How the fuck does that person on the right even see? <laughs> that hairstyle is covering up their heads like goddamn. This free update for Nintendo Switch Sports dunks its way onto Nintendo Switch. This I don't summer. say I necessarily miss the Miis, but I like the things people could do with Miis. Because they're creatively way more interesting than I'll ever be. They'll update this before Mario Party Superstars. Goddamn. By the way, if you're just tuning in, I do appreciate your time and company, folks. Thank you very much. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this as much as well. I'm not sure if I'm enjoying myself yet, but <laughs> we'll see. We did start strong. Then. It's just a little dude. Oh, see, this is really nice. I like, I like the, I like the etched illustrations of the backgrounds here. This is actually really nice to look at so far. But it's probably gonna be one of those. Look, look, we got the, it's the fucking Super Meat Boy buzzsaws, dude. Like <laughs> every fucking indie game. <laughs> I'm assuming this is even indie. I'm not sure. I didn't see the publisher for this. Yeah, the art style for this is actually really fucking nice. I'm not. I'm not speaking with any bias whatsoever. Uh, focus on this is Neo. Memories in orbit. It's an array of that looks pretty cool. Classics. I think I'll play that. Leap into a new update for Disney Illusion I did not play this Monmouth's game, actually. Uh, a mystery, it, it, it was like a Mickey Mouse sort of Rayman adventure. In the brand new adventure, Mystery and Monarch. Uncover hints and evidence. I heard it was good, the world, yeah. Then use the dashboard and I, I think this is now the second game or whatever. What I'm not sure. Lies at the end. Start sleuthing because this free update launches. Oh, no, it's a free update to the, to the game. Okay. Today. I really should let the trailers play so that I don't like have my question immediately answered as I'm asking the question. Customize your character. Then befriend Hello Kitty, Karomi, and other familiar faces in this open Like I, I'm adventure. clearly outside of the demographic for this, so this just kind of goes over my head. I thought for a second it was Animal Crossing related Hello until I saw Hello Kitty. Island adventure launches as a timed console exclusive on the Nintendo Switch system next year. So Switch gets it first, and then it goes to other consoles later. I wonder, like, I think. Whoa, what the fuck? I was not ready for the Lola Bunny jump scare. Game. Play as Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, and more across four I think the so the cell sports. shading is the full understandable. I think this could use a little more work visually. But watch out for falling anvils, Looney Tunes, wacky world of sports. I feel like I'm looking at a late PlayStation 2 licensed Looney Tunes game, and that is both a compliment and a critique. I think they need to rework the cell shading on that a bit. Yeah, it's very flat. Being added to Among Us, alert others. Oh, I don't play Fall Guys. As a noisemaker, plant tracking devices on others as a tracker, or turn invisible while taking out players as a. Oh, is this Bobby? Suss things out when this free update for Among Us sneaks onto Nintendo Switch. You know, it doesn't really hit the same when they got the announcers actually using the word "sus." A monster army is at your command. This is Felicidad, a realm of monsters. Those who command and raise them are called Farmagia and play a vital role in the oh. land's civilization. No, that's like, like Ten, farm, Farmagia farm mentioned once. <laughs> that's one for the farm count. They were waiting for it. They were like, all right, now we got the hook, line, and sink, and now bring in all the fucking far games. Here we go. We got one. We got one far game. And one far game. To so make far. your buddies come to life. Also, uh, Feliz Navidad to everybody else here, too. <laughs> they can then be trained for battle. Give commands to your monsters and exploit enemy weaknesses. This is something that you're playing while you're waiting in a long ass line at a convention. Speaking of, too many games next week. <laughs> June 28th to the 30th, man. Oak, Pennsylvania. I'll be there Friday and Saturday. My panel is on Friday, as is my autograph uh, table. But I'm leaving Sunday. 
because I want to go back home and play some fucking Don Trail. In Farmagia, launching on Nintendo Switch November 1st. I love farming on the shitter. Dude, I like to play I like to play mobile games in the shitter too. Donkey Kong! We getting returns on Tropical Well no no, this is uh this is this is returns. Country Returns, originally released on the Wii system, is barreling onto Nintendo Switch in HD. The That's so fucking like I mean I'm glad we, we the local I'm glad yeah, because remember, like Tropical Donkey Freeze got the re-release on the Switch, not returns though. I'm down with this. Obstacles this game way. is pretty fucking Just intense at times, but it's a good game. Pound him. I wonder if it'll have like the 3DS stuff. Each level is filled with hijinks. Like, is the 3DS? Did it have extra content, or just have a different control scheme? From manic minecarts to high flying rocket barrels. Three lives, 3DS stuff is there. Yeah, and the fact that you have regular controls, fuck that rocket barrel. The fact that you have regular controls, you don't have to worry about the Wii motion stuff. Although they'll give you options for both, likely. No, this game's good. It's hard though. Like it's a hard game. But damn, like it, it, it was it was a nice return to form. But will there be a funky mode? There you go. We have the definitive returns. Donkey Kong Country returns. Ooh, that's not until next January though. Nintendo Switch system, January 16th. Gonna be waiting a bit on that one. One of Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong's jungle escapades returns in HD. Plenty of wild actions and antics are in store with these Kongs. Next, please take a look at this. No, I love and hate when they do that. It's like, take a look at this. Like, you get your expectations up, and then you just then your penis softens because it's not what you're thinking. The time is nigh. Hmm. Dragon Quest. Oh my god, we're finally getting info on the fucking HD, the 2D HD game. Holy shit. When was this announced? Like, when was this announced? <laughs> June of 2021, like three fucking years ago. Journey with allies. What do you mean game footage not final? <laughs> on an epic adventure. Memorable encounter. God, man, like I know the I know the, the purpose of this is just to see like just, this is about Dragon Quest three, but man, like I get so and fucking antsy thinking about light. other RPGs that could benefit from having an art style like an makeover like this, RPG man. Remade in HD like I know it's probably a little more contentious, but I love to fucking see a Chrono Trigger style remake like this. God damn, that would look so beautiful. I think so anyway. I know the Octopath style, tra Octopath Traveler style is not everyone's cup of tea, but man, when it's done right, like it, it is fucking Legacy gorgeous, dude. Begins. Yeah, like a Terra Enigma would look like. Uh, I think Soul Blader was Soul Blazer was part of the same series. Dragon Quest Three HD Two D. You know, I, I, I'm speaking with bias here. I would Come love to see Final Fantasy Six remade like this. November fourteenth. No, oh my god, we're finally getting a release date. November. Dude, like, we're... RPG players, dude, eating so fucking good. Oh, the music's continuing. Here we go, Crown Trigger. <laughs> Experience? The com Are they doing all three games? <laughs> dude! Hey, that's good. That's good shit. That is absolutely good shit. Dragon Quest 3 Oh, that's actually pretty fucking hype. I will gladly replay the first Dragon Warrior game with that with that art style. Also, it's not the NES game, so it'll be infinitely be replayable. <laughs> fucking good プレイしてもらうと、あっと驚く展開が待っています。ロト3部作となる3と1と2どちらも是非楽しんでもらえたら嬉しいです。どうもオリジンズでした。Dude, like this is this is an RPG 
Let's continue with more headlines. Why is everyone talking about Dairy Queen? Let's have some fun. Yawn! <laughs> Say hello to Jaws? Wait, He-Man? Great Scott, is that Marty McFly? The world of Funko is In case you don't know, I can't fucking stand Funko Pops. I think they're the most creatively bankrupt figures you can ever produce, like, you can ever mass produce. TV shows and more. I can't stand the fucking sight of them, and I hate that there's so many fucking venues and establishments that just have walls of them. And you know why you have walls of them? Because people don't fucking care. <laughs> I, I, it has an audience, you know, my brother Mark loves Funkos, I'm not sure if he still collects them or all that sort of shit, but I can't fucking stand them, dude. Like, I, I just can't fuck with them. I just, I think they're so dull, boring to look at. We've got a smorgasbord of spooky, silly. I'm glad I, I'm feeling validated from the the, the 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 distaste of Funko in the chat. Ready for an adventure of ghoulish proportions? <sighs> I wanted to like this game more, but it's just too fucking long in the tooth for my liking. You know, say what you will about the the the, the length of the first Luigi's Mansion. But it respects your time. I don't think this game does that. But, you know, different strokes for different folks and that sort of shit. Why only two? Because they already re-released the first game, I think, on the Switch. And the third game was made for the Switch. So I think two is all that's left. Unless I'm misremembering. Uh, first was a 3DS remake. Okay, uh, for some reason, I thought the first game's I thought I thought the first game's 3DS remake was also released on the Switch. Which means by next year it'll be released on the Switch. <laughs> it's like a swan song. I have no idea who Dempa Man is. I thought it was like some sort of Pikmin like sort of thing, or Teletubbies. Metal Slug, okay. Oh, it's a Metal Slug strategy game. Of the Metal Slug you can't fucking tease me with Metal Slug sprites like that and then immediately deflate my expectations with a strategy game that I, I probably won't play. And build out your decks to win tactical tussles. You can also slug it out with other players in online battles. Oh yeah, the Metal Slug Metal sprite Slug work is always... Reloaded. It never misses. It's always so fucking today. gorgeous. Although I think in this case, they're just reusing sprites from uh, the uh, main Embark series. Embark on an expedition of the damned in this eagerly awaited sequel to the gothic roguelike RPG. Board your stagecoach and set off across a decaying landscape to prevent an apocalypse. Fight off nightmarish fiends in turn-based combat and upgrade your abilities after each deadly run. Uh, I never played the first game. What's the general Darkest consensus Dungeon on this one? Two. Darkest Dungeon? On Nintendo Switch, I'm already kind of iffy on the roguelike because I feel today. every other game that I play is a roguelike in some form or fashion. But I do li I like the art style. More classic titles are on the way. Oh, cool. Here we go. We got three more three more games. Dude, Link to the Pass. The GBA version of Link to the Past. Link's classic oh. 16-bit adventure and team up online. This this version's fine. They shouldn't have given Link a voice. Cuz you're swinging that sword all the fucking time. The four swords though, that's a great inclusion. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. You should play this if you haven't already. Fucking Plus, love Zero Mission, coming dude. Coming to the new Nintendo 64, Nintendo Switch Online Mature 17 Plus Collection of Games. Oh. Turok! Oh, this is probably where those Turok rumors stem from. It was probably for an NSO release. Dinosaur Hunter. What else are they going to be adding? Perfect Dark, really? Never played this. Although, from what I understand, it's just sci-fi James Bond. Perfect Dark. Now with online multiplayer. Online multiplayer for Perfect Dark. Actually, that's pretty fucking huge. For Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack members later today. Oh, available later today. Good shit. Play Zero Mission. Set sail to save the day. Is this a... This is Verona, a young woman with the ability to communicate with phantoms. What do I know? I've seen this girl's design somewhere before. I don't remember where, though. Join her on a journey to save her friend. This is this guy, right? 
in this new installment in the Phantom Brave series. Yeah, it looks like oh, it's Phantom Brave. Okay, I thought it was the Sky first. Like, I mean, are they the same thing? I, I don't know. Where you combine the phantoms you befriend. Oh, same publisher. Thank you, Trios. Ways. This looks like something my uncle would play. Certain objects to maneuver them. Combine with a cannon to attack a large area. Like I'm not really a big on the isometric tactical RPG like setup. Or but then again, my only real experience with that sort of game is Tactics and uh, Tactics Advance, actually, for the GBA. Phantom Brave, the Lost Hero, launches on Nintendo Switch next year. This one's gonna take you for a ride. Oh my God, NBC. Seven arcade NBC. games. Oh my God, God, it's all of them. Characters are fighting <laughs> Oh my god! X-Men versus Street Fighter. Duke it out. Oh my god! It's all of them! How many? We got Children of the Atom, the Pun the Punisher. That okay, that's kind of a that kind of that's a that's a hard fucking shit. Children of the Atom, Marvel Superheroes, X of Street Fighter, Marvel They're all here! Holy shit! Select online mode to challenge rivals around the world. Oh my god, like I immediately just became a 10 year old kid again. Like the Punisher, I don't really have any opinion on because I never played the Punisher game. But X Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel Super Heroes, MVC 1, MVC 2, I played these games to fucking death growing up. Oh, that is. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of the best thing so far for me in this direct. <laughs> What the hell is this? Mario Party. The latest game in the Mario Party series. A new Mario Party. An enormous island resort. Get ready to jump into the biggest selection of Mario Party mini games yet in Super Mario Party Jamboree. Jamboree. First, so let's see some of the new boards where you'll compete to collect the most stars. Take the escalators to travel between floors in Rainbow Gallery. <laughs> well, close enough. <laughs> Use <the new> game <laughs> coins to get a star at half price when they're on flash sale. But act fast. Dude, imagine a star being locked behind a subscription service. Roll them raceway. With the new Turbo Dice item, you can move up to 40 spaces with a lucky roll. 40 spaces? Goomba Lagoon, what the, the fuck? The flow of the tide can change your path. And things really so it seems like when the volcano so I, I kind of fuck with this because like you remember in Mario Party 2 where everyone would kind of dress for the occasion for the different boards this one seems to be do I, I'm speaking to Mario Party 2 there's Western line right there um, they seem to be committing to the whole gimmick of you ride a different sort of vehicle for each board and some are controlled by gently shaking or tilting your joy con control I mean it's Mario Party you really can't go wrong with Mario Party unless you're nine or ten there's a wide variety to enjoy does it have online multiplayer though also up to 20 players can go head to head online in the coupathlon mode okay so a different mode now i'll say like 20 players online on the same board okay place. that'd be fucking insane come out on top community game we got a new game for stop night make sure your fucking internet works so i'm gonna say that right now you can make sure you got an ethernet core right now do it now stop watching actually no go to, go to best buy go to best buy or go to the fucking amazon get a get a good ethernet core do it now do it now what are you doing watching go <laughs> That was the latest installment in the Mario Party series, Super Mario Party Jamboree. Yo, not for nothing, this, this direct has actually been pretty fucking sick. Mini games, 20 player online gameplay and more, get ready for the biggest Mario Party in series history. I'm so happy I can legally, <laughs> legally play NBC2 again. <laughs> Alright, what else? Well, uh, like, you, you already feed me pretty good. What is this? That's Zelda. That's Link. Link's Awakening? Are they remaking Oracle? The Oracle games? Or is this a new game? Damn, man. I feel so bad for Link's Awakening on the Switch. Like, it is the definitive way of playing the game, and it kind of just came and went. It, yeah, it also just might be a new game in the style of Link's Awakening uh, on the Switch. No, 
was really spiteful, Link. <laughs> and with my dying breath, I cursed the- Oh, we get a Zelda game? <laughs> CDI game remake, baby! The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Like that. So what can Zelda do? We get a Zelda-centric Zelda game. Hello everyone. I'm Eiji Aonuma. Was his hair always like that? Legend of Zelda series. What you just saw was the latest installment, The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. This time around, Link has vanished. Now it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. You might be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? Here, we wanted to create a new gameplay style that breaks conventions seen in past Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. But if you're a whiny piss baby, we're going to give her a sword and shield in one mode anyway. <laughs> Never ask me for anything again. <laughs> Stolen away. Across the vast lands of Hyrule, strange rifts have appeared. And have taken many people. Playing as Zelda is woke. <laughs> the libs now, win again. Zelda meets the tri, <laughs> receives a mysterious staff called the Tri Rod and sets off on a journey across Hyrule to save her kingdom. So she's very. So she's a mage. By so the tri -rod very the magic centric. Uh, arsenal likely. Imitation of it called Holy fuck, Zelda. she got a table. <laughs> this is amazing. Something, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables to get a leg up. Just like that. I'm calling it now a fucking hour one dick butt boxes, with the tables. I'm not beds, sure what the limitation of how many tables you can place. Like water blocks. So you can copy an item, or together is and then you can place as many you. as you want to solve puzzles. Learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. You might be surprised at what you discover. They want someone that's making a mogus. <laughs> Even battles will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. That's not all, though. You can also create echoes of monsters. After doing so, they'll fight by your side. Hey, you just fucking... Monsters have minions. different abilities, so choose People work the for one you. you want to okay. create based Summoning on the, the, the Beyblade and riding that is Wisdom actually pretty fucking exciting. After all. So this is likely going to emphasize puzzles more than your standard Zelda game. In a Hyrule without Link, the fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's hands. Finally. <laughs> How was that? I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Echo ability, which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. There are a lot of Echoes. We just hope that you're just as honest, smart. I haven't counted them all yet. How you solve puzzles and battle enemies will change depending on the echoes used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience <laughs> until a bunch of YouTube videos will optimize the fucking shit out of it, and no one will be able to creatively explore the possibilities. <laughs> A Nintendo Switch Lite system inspired by the Legend of Zelda series will also be available at launch. Oof, thank God I don't care about the Switch Lite. forward to playing as Zelda in this new adventure. Now, I'd like to return this moment I'd stolen away back to Mr. Takahashi. They count the days, you piece of shit. That was my moment. <laughs> Please look forward to the newest entry in the Legend of Zelda series. That's pretty exciting, though. Let's see a few I'm, though, I'm not sure if that's going to be a day one purchase for me, specifically. But I'll definitely consider it. And party on. Oh, boy. We're going to get licensed music now to fucking mute the VOD? Thanks for being so considerate. <laughs> Is this just Let's Dance? I was going to say, it's probably just... It's probably just Just Dance, right? I, I'm so, like... 
clearly someone's buying these games for them to keep getting entries because I'm assuming these are still like a popular pick at parties that your grandparents host or some other shit. I'm doing my best to talk over the VOD because I'm not entirely sure if this is a licensed song that I have to keep talking over so the fact that it won't get flagged because you know I got friends who play licensed music when they're doing 14 raids and they don't get flagged that much because they're constantly talking over it but I gotta tell you it's really fucking hard to keep the conversation going until the music dies down because I can't keep a stream of conscience that good I fucking suck at it although it's much easier when I'm not having to play a game and talk at the same time like, oh thank god Christ <sighs> god that fucking sucked. On the horizon. You know people the stream horizon these these things. And then you pull in the gotcha license music, now that video's ours. Sorry. So this was shown off in the Summer Games Fest, I think last week or the week beforehand. And, like, I don't play LEGO games at all, so this really doesn't do anything for me. It also doesn't help that I've, I've still not played Horizon at all, uh, either of the games. Despite hearing that they're, 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 they're great games. To Mighty Sawtooths. You might even come across the fearsome Thunderjaw. Uh, Zero Dawn is great. They're good. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. The general consensus for both games is that, like, they're they're fine. Uh, did I say more or say more? What the fuck was that? Oh, and you don't have to explore this. My problem with the Lego games is that I feel like you're buying the same game but with a different coat of paint depending on your preferences. Are you a Star Wars kid? You play Lego Star Wars. Are you Lord of the Rings? You play Lego Lord of the Rings. Horizon, Horizon. That sort of shit. So. Um, to me, they're never really interesting from the get-go because it, it really just looks like it's the same game. I've not played this game at all with the with the stray cat. Why the fuck are you gonna show the cat dying in the opening of the thing? Like, what the hell are you doing? Why are you? This is mental abuse. <laughs> Experience a decaying cyber city through the eyes of a cat separated from their family and friends. Explore alongside a drone known as B12 to find your way home. Carefully climb to the highest heights. So this is so Stray is essentially just like it's a puzzle game, right? Like you you're you're exploring, but you're also like trying to find the way to escape, like an escape room, basically. The city. Only you're a cat. Though. It's a platforming adventure game. Okay. Is excited to have you slinking around. Look, that robot's like, oh, that's a fucking cat. <laughs> <laughs> Must have allergies. To venture into more areas of this unfamiliar world. That and a walking simulator. Oh, so it's Death Stranding, but it's with a cat. Safety. Stray finds its way onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. It's pretty short too. Spear runs are about an hour. Oh, interesting. Which means it'll probably take me eight. Welcome home, Hobbit. If you've ever wanted to live Is this like a Lord a of the Rings farm game? Lord of the Rings. Here we go. Now, Here it comes. Existence, Lord of the Rings farm game. <laughs> quiet corner of Middle Earth can be yours. Customize your appearance, decorate your home, and settle into life in the Shire. As what if it like what if like there's a crazy shift where it just shifts to the orc is like find the half -like! <laughs> like oh shit <laughs> i thought this was just a cozy like farm simulator game forage and cook the best way to build a hobbit community is by hosting a dinner party with your homemade dishes plus you can trade with your neighbors for unique decorations or special ingredients for even tastier meals Friendly hobbits and familiar faces await your arrival when Tales of the Shire. I mean, it, 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 it looks like a it looks like a comfort game. game, a game that you you play in your downtime when you want to like before you settle down, go to sleep, that sort of thing. Holy shit! Oh my god! Are we getting investigations? Two Ace Attorney spin-off games, including a sequel that was previously unreleased outside of Japan, are coming to Nintendo Switch as one collection. Actual official investigations too. Miles Edgeworth, take the case out of the courtroom and investigate crime scenes. Gather information by interviewing people and inspecting evidence. 
Then use the power of logic to solve Oh my god, dude. Cases. Dude, Ted is eating so, so fucking well today on this direct. From the original series character designer. Because we got because we got investigations one on the DS. We never got the second game here in the West outside of the fan translation. So this is a big fucking deal. And more. Also, investigations one is really great. That last the last case goes on for too fucking long though. That was my only critique with investigations one. The last case goes on for fucking ever. Collection launches on Nintendo Switch September sixth. That is huge. I finally get to play the second Investigations game. I never bother with the fan translation, despite hearing that it's perfectly fine. That was really rude. Why the fuck did you shove me like that? What the shit? <laughs> what if I was injured? <laughs> what the shit? See, man, this is why you don't fucking buy Funko Pops, dude. They called me a madman. <laughs> After a devastating attack by unknown assailants, Takumi Samino's life gets turned upside down. A mysterious school mascot suddenly appears. I thought the mascot was saying that for a second. Like, that was that was some pretty clumsy <laughs> direction. Along with 15 other students. What is it, a visual novel? Their mission is to defend the school from hostile student enemies for 100 days. Oh, so it's like a, it's a tactical game, okay. An academy shrouded in secrecy. Kind of reminds me of uh, the style of reminds me of Danganronpa. Actually, it just might be the same. It might be the same dude. It might be the same uh, devs, actually, I should say. ...and return to his normal life the creators of Danganronpa present yeah, there you go. the hundred line last defense academy launching on Nintendo So I probably Switch won't be getting this Nora year. might be playing this though Embark on a saga spanning saga, generations really? Saga spanning generations will we get a saga collection A full remake of Romancing Saga 2 is marching Oh actually this Nintendo is actually pretty Switch. good Dude, again the RPG players were fucking eating so goddamn good and expand the empire of Varen so I can't really get down with Saga as a game it's a little too min maxi for me to darkness but I know it has its fans in combat use returning Saga features like glimmers to learn skills and formations to win yeah, RPG fans are eating well but I'm getting too much wait it's <laughs> gonna need a fucking coronary bypass the by the end of this fucking direct key. Innovative features like United Attack can also help with strategy. How will you expand your empire? Man, I can't wait to finish my multi-hour long RPG so I can start my multi-hour long RPG while I play my new MMO expansion. Uh, <laughs> life is suffering. Also, Romancing Saga 2 has the hardest final boss in any video game ever. Really? That's, that's terrifying. Romancing Saga 2 Revenge of the Seven launches on Nintendo Switch October 24th. All right. We hope you're excited to experience the full remake of Romancing Saga 2. That's almost everything for today's Nintendo Direct. Next will be our last announcement. What if they just end Please it with like the Mario movie announcement? Just fucking deflate everything after such a solid show. What are they showing off though, I wonder? Cosmic Year 20X9 Galactic Galactic Federation Research Facility. What? 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 Is it Prime 3? That's the Prime 3 gunship. What is this? What is this? What is this? It's a new Prime game. It's a new Prime game. This is Prime 4. This is Prime 4. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay. All right, all right. Like, I'm, I'm sort of like, I'm, I'm sort of like with bated breath because is this Prime 4? 
Is it finally happening? Dude, the, the, the UI looks so fucking slick. It's so clean. Who's that? That's... Fucking Silex! What the... <laughs> <laughs> Beyond! When's it coming out? I need it. I probably, it's probably too early for a release date, but I, I, I would, I would really like a, a confirmation at some point. Oh, this looks so gorgeous, dude! Oh, uh, this is, this is legit. One of the great. All right, twenty twenty five. All right, that, 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 that's what I was kind of expecting. That's what I was, that was, I was kind of expecting a twenty twenty five release date. That would have been some shit if it was this year. Like I would have died right here. <laughs> first look at Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. Dude, this direct After a very long time, this direct was aces. This was a really fucking good direct, dude. The release is planned for 2025. So please wait a little bit longer. We hope you're looking forward to Samus Aran's new adventure. I most certainly am. That's oh my god. What direct. fucking year is it, dude? Like Thank you for watching. This was a great fucking direct. Oh, Ted just texted me, actually. Are you okay? I should ask him, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> that was a fantastic direct. I think I, I am pretty fucking content with everything that was shown here. I was like, I'm, I'm not interested in everything that was shown off here, but it started strong. It had a great middle and it had a great ending, and that how is how you do a great portfolio reel. If you're if, if you're a student of the arts, th th take notes. This is how you set up a portfolio reel. You start strong, you, uh, you got a good middle, and you end strong too. RPG players got so much to look forward to. We got fucking uh, I, I, that Marvel versus Capcom collection is legit the hype is shit i cannot wait i am getting that immediately <laughs> i have I, I am i am 10 years old when that shit was on uh and god like the, I, i'm overwhelmed actually i'm, I'm, I'm legit overwhelmed I, I i i i was really fucking happy with that presentation i oh i'm so i'm so, so happy about prime 4 i'm so happy prime 4 is <laughs> it's, it's very much alive and we got a release here. We got 2025. It looks really good so far. It's too early to say, obviously, but it looks fucking slick. I cannot wait to get my fucking hands on it, dude. Oh, this was this was fantastic. I hope. Uh, dude, the Beyond title means it's Beyond the Switch. Day one Switch successor title. That's that's an interesting point, Jason. I, I, I'm thinking of like because I saw like they, they saw the Switch logo, right? And maybe it's going to be simultaneous release. Maybe they're going to do like the Twilight Princess thing where it's going to have a Switch release, but it's also going to have a Switch successor release, whatever the hell that ends up being. So Prime Reviews leading up to Prime 4, you're absolutely fucking right. That's the plan, Nova Blazer X. I got I to gotta re-review Prime 2 and I got to re-review Prime 3. I, well, I got to review the whole Prime series, actually. I was kind of hoping we get news of a Prime 2 and 3 remaster uh, for the Switch so that I can, you know, review those games instead because right now we still only have the prime, the first Prime game. But now that we have confirmation that Prime 4 is on its fucking way, I, we, we need to, I, I gotta start making plans. We gotta review the Prime games again because right? those videos are really fucking old. Uh, but... All right, uh, I got I do have to get going. My morning is just getting started. Uh, this was a fantastic direct. I cannot wait to rewatch everyone else's reactions to this, all the social media posts, because that's like the funnest part about watching directs is like ever seeing everyone else's uh, reactions and that sort of shit. I'll be back later today uh, with the conclusion to Metal Gear Two Solid Snake, and then we're we're gonna host the Smash Brothers community night because uh, we haven't played Smash Brothers in a while either. Uh, so those in the sub shack, uh, wait for my uh, pings in the updates channel. And uh, I will see you guys later today. Have a good day, everybody. That was a great fucking direct. Absolutely great fucking direct.